Hello and welcome back to Walton for our first home game of 2023 with the Swans are in action for a very big league clash against third place Marlow. Now these two sides met back for the very first league game of the season in August and that was a pretty interesting one, 4-3 in the end with the Swans losing. Hoping for a different result today though, Collage. Yeah, obviously Marlow are high flying so far and the Swans, let's be honest, have been struggling for points of recent date. Um... I think it's going to be an interesting one. I'm excited for it. We know what the Swans are like on a slippery surface at home, so let's hope for the best. Yeah, obviously it is a bit wet and windy today, um, so interesting to see how the conditions will hold up, expecting some rain later. But a new boy back in the side as well, a boy that we had last season playing for us, Dowell Shaw in at wing today. Yep, he will be starting, and I'm excited to see what he does. You know, he's back in the side since obviously helping us get promoted last season. Torin and Palace still missing today, last day of their suspension, so... You know, let's see what we have. Yeah, a big one towards the top of the table today. Time for today's lineups. A few changes in the Swans lineup today. Liam Allen in goal as ever. Centre back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Joe Hicks with Joe Prattley Jones at right back, Dominic Hogan at left back. A three in midfield of Arsene Oikai, Alex Kelly, and John Gilbert as a number 10. Daryl Shaw rejoins the Swans today, and he's in at right wing, number 11, with Harry Mills down the left. Eddie Simon, the number nine, leads the line again up front. On the bench today, it's Jordan Adiemi, Jonathan Gioche, Malik Morris, Jude Malloy, and Brian Garzen. Daryl, who is returning to the club for a second spell. Strongest point pace. I don't think Daryl, but brings a lot of physicality to the side. And Arsenal awesome plays with the John Gilbert. PJ with an interesting underlayer there. Orange and red is a... Yeah. Oh, oh brilliant ball. Diamond. An early chance. Oh, it's a corner ball. And a... Oh, it's such a late flag from the linesman. And it's a big punt forward by the Marlow keeper. Yeah, the wind is quite strong going there's, that way, isn't there's it? There's Rogowski. The wind is pumping it that way oh and it's a block really crucial block there Joe Patley Jones Mitchell Goff to John oh see that is the area right yeah Marlowe sort of one oh and Don misses out it's a brilliant early opportunity here it's gonna be one nil oh it looked like it might have snuck in but it's a Marlowe corner Harry Mills, Harry Mills steps up. Staring at the ball. Goes to Lowell. Oh, he's oh, he it. does it again. A massive deflection. But the ball goes in the back of the net. And That's the Swans go 1-0 one. up. That's another one for the highlights for isn't it? Harry Mills from the set piece. Not the cleanest that he's ever struck. And it is a bit fortunate. But that's brilliant. And the Swans are 1-0 up. Pratty Pratty Jones, Jones. Lovely. Lovely from PJ there. But uh, Daryl couldn't get onto it. And Rogowski on the ball here. Rogowski's such a delicate player as well. Oh, oh and he's through. Touched it for it's going to be a tap it's in. It's going to be a one all. Oh, great save oh, from Liam. Lucky. Um, <laughs> most convincing first half performance so far from the Swans, to be honest. Yeah. But the, the good thing is there's a lot of room to improve, right? It's John Gilbert in the middle. It's a nice little pocket of space picked up. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Gilbert finds Eddie Simon, who takes a nice touch and shoots. Oh! You could not get any closer outside the boot, Eddie Simon. Brilliant technique. Yeah, he did everything right. It's unfortunate. It's lovely driving run from John Gilbert. That's more like Eddie it. And... He's got to move like that. Mm. That's what I mean. There is a, there's a bit of a lack of options, to be fair. Brilliant. It's nice from Goff. But... Oh, not so good. But John Gilbert's there. He's always there. Yeah. That's Kelly. That's nice. That's the boot. Can he get to it first? He can. Oh, oh that's unlucky. The advantage was played. But that's surely a yellow card, but right? But John, John, Alice Kelly has stayed down. What about the, those little aspects? I yeah. To pick on those. Just removing the sloppiness, really. Yeah, it's just... I don't, I don't actually think... Brilliant like, from Oh, and here we go. Big opportunity here for Marlow. It's going to go equalised. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a knuckleball, really, isn't it? Right. I'd imagine so, let's be honest, because mm. legs for the last half an hour or so. But yeah. No, they made a statement today by not starting him. Dom. That's a brilliant ball. Oh, oh my word. So close. You almost needed like a Harlem there, just coming in on the, yeah. the studs. 
It's a good throw. Oh, that's close. That is close, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. That's crazy. Oh, a bit of danger. Oh. Harry Mills. Oh, it's a good block. Go on, Harry. What well done, Dom. He's no, on. still on. Go on, John. Have a shot. He's had a shot. It's an absolute screamer! John Gilbert, 30 yards out! Don't make this it. one's lead! Wow! Lost for words! The fizz on it, the pace! Keeper wasn't expecting it! Doesn't matter, the Swans have got to see, some, see it out here. Jordan, and Jordan's through! Jordan's through here! Can he make Jordan a three? Finish. Oh! You don't know where the ball oh, is bouncing. Millsy here touching it down. Can he get the shot away? He can! Oh, oh it's a goal! Oh my word! Anything John can do, Millsy can do as well! Two long shots in a space of five minutes! What a shot! For Harry Mills! It's unbelievable, isn't it? Same side as, as John Gilbert. That's outrageous! It is brilliant. 3-0 to the Swans. I'm actually praying. Can Harry Mills take all the plaudits with the hat trick? Ooh. Ooh. Nah. No, no, no. Not quite. There we go, that's full time. 3-0 to the Swans against Marlow. A big win. Back to winning ways. And what a way to do it. A Millsy brace and John Gilbert. And I tell you what, those those second and third goal. Both of them, absolute wonder strikes from 30 yards. That's what we needed against a fellow promotion challenger. And revenge is secured for that opening day defeat away at Marlow. Yep, well, that's it. 3-0, great result, but we're back next week. Here with today's Hagley West man of the match, Mitchell Goff, following that 3-0 win. It was a pretty big one today where we knew coming into the game that we were going to have to pull someone out of the bag and keep pace with the rest of the pack, and that's exactly what we did. Yeah, I think going into the game, obviously, off the back of the last two games that we've had, um, Merston game, I think we was a bit unlucky, but we knew what we had to do coming into the game. I think they're third in the league, if I'm correct. Um, and we knew what they wanted to come and rough us up a bit, but I think we managed it well, managed the game well, and I don't think they put us under any pressure at all throughout the whole 90 minutes, to be honest. Yeah. So it was good. And you weren't here at the start of the season where we lost 4-3 yeah. at their place, but in the dressing room, was there that sense of we needed to right the wrongs of uh, losing that game, the opening yeah, game of the season? A, uh, a tad, I'd say. Um, obviously, the first game of the season to now is probably quite a while ago now, but... Um, I think going into the game, the management, the players, after Thursday, we was, we was, we was confident. We, we tried a few things in training Thursday, in which I think we executed out here perfectly. Um, and yeah, they didn't really offer any any effort to any effort on goal or nothing like that throughout the game. So we obviously done our job, so it worked. Yeah, it's, it's a big win as well to start 2023. A big first home win, first win of 2023. Do you think we can start to hopefully put some more results together and put um, a challenge to yeah. together at the top of the table? From now until the end of the season, I think we now to need to get a bit of consistency in our plan. Um, can't keep winning one, drawing one, losing one. It has to be fluidity throughout from now to if we want to go all the way and I think starting today Marlow who are third we pretty much dominated the whole game and now we just need to get on a good run yeah all cheers Mitch through. all good here with the manager Scott Harris and first team coach Billy Rowley following that 3-0 win at home to Marlow it was a bit of a, an interesting first half obviously that free kick from Harry Mills but we came out in the second half out of the blocks and two absolute screamers to, to wrap up the points for us today yeah the uh Wind, wind played a part with both of them strikes. I don't know if, if Millsy and Gilbert can, can really hit them that hard ordinarily. <laughs> but, uh, sort of jokes aside, um, obviously the conditions today were always going to play a big part. Um, I think that the both halves of football looked sort of vastly different, one from the other. But um, we always sort of take our judgment on games for, for the most part on like when the game's truly on the line at, at nil-nil and how brave can you be and. You know, forget the conditions, forget all of that. We played 
our football in the first half with a lot of bravery. Yes, there's a couple of mistakes thrown in there, like there always will be, but we kept on doing it and we got some reward um, with Millsy's goal, albeit, yeah, free kick, but, you know, and we've come in at half time, we're fairly pleased with how it went. Um, but, yeah, conditions coming to our thoughts for the second half and we wanted to, to try and force Marlow to play as much of the game in their half as possible and it, it turned out to, to be the case. And a phrase we sort of used before the game is big boy football today. You know, we, we're totally aware of the amount of long throws that are going to be coming into our box and the amount of set-piece threat that, uh, that Marlow carry. So we had, a, we had a big side out there today. Uh, Daryl Shaw, obviously for one coming into the side and, and bolstering that sort of manly. And he was quite a presence down that wing today yeah, as was, well. Yeah, he was. And he, he, you know, he, he ups the manliness level in our side. And on these sort of winter days, you're dumb to ignore it. Yeah. So, you know, we, we picked a team today to, to shape around that. And yeah, it's work to plan. So we can stand here today and say how good we are at defending because we kept a clean sheet. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, Bill, a, a bit of a slice of luck with that free kick in the first half from Harry Mills. But how important was it? Because in home games in weeks gone by and even in the last two months, we haven't typically taken the lead. It's actually we've had to go behind to spark us into action. How big was it to get that first goal in the first half and have a lead to build on throughout the game? Yeah, it was huge for us, mate. It was really big. Um, I wasn't actually too happy when we went 1-0 up, though, how we managed the game. We, uh, we spoke at half time, we just kept giving the ball to Liam too much, which is like, um, you know, it's a trademark play of ours. We tried to organise the game through Liam a little bit and find the overload, but it was, it was too easy for us to play back to him. And in these conditions, you're asking your goalie to control the ball on a slippery pitch with the wind blowing. We were just asking too much of him and we just coughed up the ball a little bit, a little bit too much. And I'm not sure if, if we would have played 50 minutes in that first half, 55 minutes, I think they may have scored. So like Scott said, we went in at half time, we went a little bit more back to front, we tried to hit the wide targets a little bit more. But we had a really good training session on Thursday, we went into the game feeling really positive about this. However, we did plan for them to be 4-2-3-1. Mm -hmm. They threw a little like 4-4-2 press at us, so we tried to get Arsene in, sort of in the back line to add, add the plus one there. And we looked pretty comfortable, but yeah, I just wasn't happy with, with how much we were passing to Liam. But as soon as we sort of fixed that, we looked really good. Yeah, obviously Marlow started the day in third today and uh, we've kind of, I would say, kept them at bay with that win. How big was it to, to start 2023 with a home win and hopefully something to build on as we move into what will be a tricky month? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, unless I'm wrong, I think this was the first time we've met someone for the second time today yeah, in, in the league. And well, Leatherhead actually, but yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it was um, yeah a score we had to settle from the first time round. It's one of the games we've lost on our first lap, and I think we we come out with that attitude today. Um, and yes, it, yes, of course, Marlow are up there next to us in the league, but I think we've said it on a few occasions now. We could be playing, well, we did. We played the team at the bottom of the league on Monday and we had just as tough a test against them. So mm. for me at this point, I know it sounds a sort of thing that people would laugh at, but I'm not really looking at the league on a regular basis at all because it's more about just the next opponent, what, what traits they have, what, what they're going to bring to the table. And yes, we've seen them all now, so we've got more of an idea about that. And I felt like we, you know, we shaped our performance around what we knew about Marlow and our previous encounter today. And yeah, today, yes, it went well. Next game, starting all over again. They don't care who it is, where they're in the table. It brings challenges every week and we've just got to be ready to meet it. Yeah, a big win for the Swans today to keep pace with the rest of the chasing pack at the top of the table. It's another tricky one next week away to Chipstead in the league and we will see you guys then.